NFL star Chris Borland was known as a fearless player, but after one season, he quit because he was afraid of head injuries. I, I couldn't really justify playing for money, and, and I think what I wanted to achieve put me at too great of a risk, so I just decided on another profession. Now, Borland's called the most dangerous man in football, a powerful symbol of the NFL's growing concussion crisis. If the NFL is smart, they're scared of Chris Borland and the people that will come after them. Like so many young kids in America, Borland grew up loving football. In a lot of ways, I was born into football. I knew it was what I was going to do. Uh, I loved it and, and stuck with it and uh, realized my dream. In high school, his climb to the NFL began on YouTube. Chris Borland with a diving tackle. He just hurdled the line. The hit went viral. The, his own <laughs> defensive line and then what over the defensive fair. play. Scouts saw it. Going to wind up short. That was Borland that dove headlong over the Fairmont offensive line to make the tackle. Borland was on his way to big time college football. The University of Wisconsin's promotional highlights showcase number 44, Chris Borland's aggressive hits. And he gets blasted by Chris Borland. After four seasons, pay dirt. The San Francisco 49ers select Chris Borland. It was a dream come true. I remember my brothers jumping up and hugging me, and uh, it's surreal to see your name across the ticker and the analysts start to talk about you and, and you're playing in the NFL. The 49ers gave him the number 50 jersey, a four-year contract worth nearly $3 million, and a signing bonus worth more than $600,000. He was just a heat-seeking missile, this guy. He was looking at a long-term career. You know, he was looking at everything that the, that the NFL brings you. But as Borland was becoming a star, the NFL's concussion crisis was hard to ignore. He began to think about all the violence that he was inflicting and experiencing, and I think he found that morally troublesome. He began reading everything he could about the effects of football on his brain. I knew of CT. I didn't know what the acronym stood for. I mean, I started with Google searches. I started looking at things. What does this term mean? Where is the research done? What he learned terrified him. It, it's tough. I mean, I, I... You understand on a certain level what you're doing, but, but you don't know the science behind it. Borland then went even further. He called a leading brain scientist at Boston University. And in football, one has to expect that almost every play of every game and every practice, they're going to be hitting their heads against each other. Each time that happens, it's around 20 G or more. That's the equivalent of driving a car 35 miles per hour into a brick wall, 1,000 to 1,500 times per year. After that call, that very day, Borland retired. The idea that just the basis of the game, repetitive hits, bring on a cascade of issues later in life, it changed the game for me. Borland's decision to leave the nation's most powerful sports uh, league instantly made, made headlines. Sports Center, San Francisco 49ers linebacker Chris Borland has retired, calling it a career after one season. To retire from the NFL due to concussion concerns. This was a massive blow. The profound act of an NFL player walking away from $3 million and fame and a chance to play professional football, it's just incalculable. At NFL headquarters, they responded immediately. Commissioner Roger Goodell himself hit the airwaves to defend the game. I think our game has never been more exciting. It's never been more competitive and I don't think it's ever been safer. It's dishonest, and I, I don't think it's responsible to say that the game is safer. I think that's just not true, and the, player, the players themselves on the field know, I mean, they'd scoff at that. That's, that's not accurate. The 49ers sent a bill asking him to return most of his signing bonus. I didn't play for money, I didn't leave for money just my personal health, and will happily pay back the pre-tax value and, and get on with my life. 
concussion safety advocate Chris Nowinski hopes Borland's decision could be a turning point. When I read about Chris Borland deciding to walk away, it really made me wonder if every NFL player had the access to the information that he has, would they make the same choice? It's been a year since he walked away. The first fall in 10 years Chris Borland hasn't suited up. Last year, the NFL commissioned actuaries to estimate, estimate uh, how many NFL veterans would have brain damage. And the number they came up with was three out of 10. So if I, I turn on a game and a third of the guys will have brain damage in life, I just, I, I can't really support that. And I just, I don't really watch football anymore. If it's on, I, I may peek at it, but I don't, 